kicking off the new year here at Breaking Views with our predictions book, a collection of ideas uh, from all over the world, uh, different industries, geographies. And uh, Richard, you had a hand in sort of building this book a little bit. Uh, any kind of overriding themes to take away from? Well, here's it one. It's it's a it's it perhaps seems a little odd on a day when the markets are reacting to a, to a. A, a sort of deal on the fiscal <laughs> right. cliff here in the US, but there's some evidence in the numbers that the last five years have seen, you know, stocks all move together. Every, everybody reacts to the latest thing in Europe, to the latest thing in the, sorry, in, you know, in the European government, you yep. know, solutions, ECB, central bank solutions, stuff in Washington just has happened today. But there is some evidence that the correlations, having been very high, um, are falling back towards somewhere closer to the average before the crisis or where they were before the crisis. They're not there yet. There's still a right. lot of that. Now, hedge, a lot of hedge funds, for instance, you know, will, will complain about how it's been really hard to pick stocks because, you know, you, Everything you, moves you right. pick what you think is a great individual stock and it doesn't matter because it, the fundamentals it play, have nothing to do with it. Yeah. It all runs together. All stocks go up or down together. So if, if we have a kind of transition back to something which people think of as more normal, which is less of this big correlated move and more of you pick a good company and you make some money or you pick a bad company and short it and you so make some money. May have some, may have some well, it, it, it may take a while. I mean, looking at the fiscal cliff deal today or so-called deal from yesterday, it's it just it just kicks it down the road. What two months for a lot of this? So we're going to see yet more. So there of could this. be some more of. The, there could certainly yeah. be some more of that. But you know, I think that it would be it would be refreshing, as I think mm. we say in the book, if, if it becomes one yeah. of those. And years it's, it's, where, it's where not as if fundamentals it's not as if some stocks haven't performed well, having looked at the analysis. So look at last year, the banks performed pretty well, as their balance sheets got better. It'd be of a pretty much doubled, City was up 50% or so. So it's not as if you couldn't have a year ago said, okay, which one of these, which right. ones of these stocks could we look at? Although banks probably is a, a slightly easier sector given that the further we get away from the crisis, the right, less so worse all, they should. All degrees. It'll at least mean those, those guys can't carry on complaining if we, <laughs> right. if we get back to that kind of Speaking situation. Speaking of the bank sector, Anthony, you have yep. maybe one of our bolder predictions um, looking at Lehman Brothers and maybe the reconstitution, bring the whole gang back together. Yeah. Well, maybe not the well, whole gang, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> I think, I, yes, I, I think, I think so, some of the gang may, may well never come back. Right. But yeah, I th I think, What's the idea behind that? Well, the idea is, is you, you've got, uh, you've got the, but two banks that bought the, the rump of Lehman. So you've got Barclays buying the U.S. operations, Nomura buying uh, the European and, and Asian operations. Both of them are in their own problems. ways having their own problems and, and maybe what they bought from Lehman isn't what they want. So Nomura has basically, as usual, as many Japanese banks have done, struggled to make a, a good profit uh, from overseas operations and investment banking. And Barclays, as we know from the LIBOR scandal, has got many other things on its plate. A new CEO who's more uh, focused on retail than investment banking. So right. what if this year both of them decided, ah, Done, we're done with this investment banking lark, or at least we're done with the U.S. business from Barclays' right. perspective. And they said, well, what do you do? Well, who's going to buy any of them? I mean, in, in the U.S., you think, well, Wells Fargo maybe is the big bank which lacks a There's big no operation. no for any but kind of no. bank that size. No, right? I mean, it's why would Wells Fargo want to do it? It makes it, it, makes it a, a GCFE. Uh, it means it's got to go through a lot more regulation. It's no point. So, so if the conceit is maybe take Europe, take US, put them back put together, them together and, and, and there you are, you've got again. a new Lehman. Now, now the problem is, it probably not the easiest yeah. thing. Now the, yes, that's the problem. That's why we're calling it the Humpty Dumpty. It's a great idea, but putting it back together again is difficult. How, how could you convince bond investors to fund the damn thing? You'd need to have a much higher level of, of capital probably than even the, the other banks have at the moment, and they're not making decent returns. So I know, it's, it's a lovely idea. Um, you've even got a few people the around. Bankers have known, been known to do creative uh, things. They, they, well, they've done some creative <laughs> things and very stupid things. There's somewhere in between, maybe it would work. But I, I think it's, it's a bit of a, a, a pretty much a long shot, but we like the idea of it. All right. We will have all our predictions uh, coming out today in the collection of the book. And take a look for that. And we'll be back with more breaking views tomorrow.